210 Boxing TV. Here are with uh, Fed Pacheco. Yep. Now, you were supposed to fight on, on the September 4th card, but yeah. you said you got switched to another date. What's yeah. your new date? October 8th on the Fandora card in Carson, California. It's going to be my new date. Working hard. Spar with Frank Sanchez. I'm about to get in camp with him, so that was really good work right there. How has it been uh, sparring with Frank Sanchez? Because a lot of people, they be like, yo, Frank is probably like the yeah. only guy that can beat Fury. Like, people yeah. be saying that. Frank's one of my favorite heavyweights, bro. He's real good. He's real athletic, everything. It was great work, bro. It was some of the best work I got. Let me ask you, bro, how old are you? I'm 18 right now. <laughs> how tall are you, man? Because you are like, you got to be, what, a good 6'5"? Yeah, I'm like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, now, a lot of people, they don't think Mexican heavyweights, right? They think Andy Ruiz or they think, you know, or, yeah, you know. Um, do you feel like as the guards changing and say you you're you got your brother at, as a super middleweight, you got yeah. Daniel Blanc as a super middleweight, and then yourself a heavyweight? Do you yeah. consider yourself like a real heavyweight? Hell yeah, I consider myself a real heavyweight. A lot of people would tell me like to come down so me and my brother could run uh, middleweight. I'm like hell nah, I'm, I'm a heavyweight. I feel like I'm a real heavyweight, and I feel like I'm gonna keep growing. I feel like I'm gonna keep growing. Hopefully, I keep growing. How, yeah. How's it been working with Team Benavides? Uh, it's been cool, bro. Like, also, another heavyweight you did not mention, David Benavides. You know, B size heavy. Oh, yeah. I mean, not heavyweight, my bad. No, no, not super middle. No, no, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah no, he's, B size Mexican, I mean. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. bro. Exactly. Like, he's from Mexican mostly. And yeah, my teammate, he be giving me hella pointers and shit. So I appreciate that for him. Uh, yeah. For people that never seen you box before, how would you describe your style? Mm, I feel like it's. It's everything. You see a lot of everything. You know, I, I might be a little calm, but then I don't know where you're going to see me explode. And then, you know, you're going to see me using my jab. Then you're just going to see me mix it up. It's, it's a lot of everything. You're going to tune in. Watching Andy Ruiz uh, win the heavyweight title when he did it against Joshua, did that give you motivation? Like, yo, this can't be done? Because as a Mexican heavyweight, people people don't people don't think about that as something that's, yeah. like, that like legit. You know, they, yeah. they look at it like it's just... A mirage. It's just yeah. something that's just you know not real, basically. Yeah. So my brother was on that undercard. So we were we were backstage when everything was going on. Mm -hmm. We were like the only Mexicans there. So we were like the only ones <laughs> that have faith in him. Yeah. And but I always wanted to be the first Mexican heavyweight champ. So you know I was a little hurt, but I was still happy that we got a Mexican champ now, heavyweight, the first one. So bro, the whole arena was just quiet. But we're the only Mexicans in there going crazy, bro. Cause you know we just gotta fucking. You gotta the support first your own. One. Hell yeah. So you still got to support. Now, so do you want to be the first maybe uh, Mexican unified or undisputed champion? Yeah, yeah, heavyweight I'll, champion? I always say that once I get those belts, ain't nobody taking them from me. It's going to be me all day. You know? Now, as you talked about, um, you know, the changing of the guard, you know, uh, David Benavides, uh, Diego Pacheco, yourself. As I mentioned, do you feel like people are going to start seeing this, uh, seeing this and taking y'all serious as Mexicans? And, and, and the higher weight classes, you know, are going to start dominating those higher weight classes. Because people think Mexican fighters, okay, 118, 126. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't think heavyweight or 168. Nah, but for sure, especially with our stable, bro. Me, my brother, and, and David Benavides, all big heavyweights. We're all beats, bro. And we all work super hard, and we all push each other. And my boy, Rayo Valenzuela, too, he's a 135-pounder. But he's a big 135-pounder. I be seeing him spar. Who do he be sparring? He be sparring y'all. with us. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like... He's a big 135 pounder, so we all, we all, bro, we all push each other. And, and Jose Benavides Jr. too, him too. He's a big guy too, so we all just... Uh, feed y'all feed off each other? Yeah, bro, for sure. Now, uh, Ryo's in a fight this Sunday. He has a late replacement. Yeah. But Pitbull Cruz is also fighting on the yeah. card, and, and they fought on the same card last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see that as a potential fight in the future, Pitbull and Ryo? Yeah, yeah, I see that as a potential fight. My, my boy Ryo wants that fight, and you know, he's in the gym just working hard every day for whatever fight comes, it's gonna be easy work. Do you feel like he's one of the most underrated guys in boxing? So, so. But he's getting, he's getting his recognition now. He's getting that and buzz, right? That guy, he was supposed to fight, he was in a, he was in a, ooh, cause that was a good opponent. But he got a, a replacement, but he's still gonna show out. He's still gonna go out. Cause the guy's, I think, 14 and one, but he has 13 knockouts. Yeah, so you already know, records. yeah, you already know what the guy's uh, game's gonna be. He's yeah. gonna, he's gonna come and bring it, but yeah. it seems like that's what Ryo likes. Ryo yeah, loves, oh. to, he loves to mix it up. Bro, from what I see in the gym, nobody could beat Ryo, bro. You, you think nobody at 135? No, he's gonna run that division. How do you, Everybody, everybody's gonna see that. How do you think eventually, you know, we gotta think PBC, right? Yeah. Tank Davis is the man of PBC at 135. There's also guys like Michelle Rivera, but how do you think about Ryo and Tank? Ryo and Tank? That's, um, that's like the fight. All right, so the guy who was with the fight was ranked number two, WBA. The Corrales, right? Yeah. yeah. So Ryo, if Ryo would have uh, won, which he was, 
You know, he would have been ranked number two. Okay. So I think he would have been Tank's mandatory, right? So that's the fight. We were all like, oh, hell yeah. And Ryo, bro, works super hard because he knows those fights are coming. And he knows that you got to put the work in to, you know, to come off victorious. All right, man, anything you want to leave off with? Uh, just tune in October 8th, bro. And I'll tune in for my brother, uh, September 17th. Seven. Oh, yeah, he's going to fight on the Canelo, Canelo undercard. undercard. How, how do you feel about him being in that spot on such a big, big, that's, that's, big card? That's, one of the, that's like the biggest it gets, bro. He's going to open up the pay-per-view card. I'm really proud of him, man. He's going to show out. He's been working super hard, too, fighting for his first title. Now, let the fans know where they catch you on social media, Fit. Follow me on Instagram at FedPacheco1. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate